everybody. Today I am going to talk you through some big updates. <laughs> I've actually been filming all sorts of things that happen at the house, but a lot of them don't make at all any sense to be their own video. So I thought today would be fun to kind of do a mishmash and give you a bunch of updates. This video is brought to you by Cerebral, which we will talk about in a minute. But first, let's talk about the title of the video, My Entire Lawn Got Destroyed. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, in one of my <laughs> in my Q and A video where I uh, went around the house answering questions, one of the questions was about the outside. So I went outside, and you know it's February, or it was February. It's March now, and I looked at the temperature, and it was negative one, negative two, and that to me honestly is not cold anymore as a Canadian. It's just. It feels like spring. So I was like out in the dress and everyone thought it was funny. Well, today I'm f fucking cold. <laughs> it's negative 11, feels like negative 20. Like in Canada, someone will be like, like how cold is it? And they'll say it's negative 12. And then you say, but what does it feel like? And they're like negative 20. And you're like, okay. <laughs> so today is a freezing cold day. You can tell I'm a little pink, a little pink from the cold. Um, today is a disaster day. It's, I'm, try, I'm trying to stay positive. Oh, uh, because it's like the kind of day that could drive a woman mad. About a month ago, my kitchen sink stopped working. The water is fine. The water comes out fine, but it wasn't draining. The water would not leave the kitchen sink. And so I tried everything. I tried everything. Um, and I was pretty proud of myself actually for some of the things I, I tried, <laughs> but nothing worked. So I had to call the plumber and I was like, some problems are I'm not trained for. That's, there's nothing I can do about it. So I called the plumber. He came around and you know, he tried a few things and we went to the cellar and he looked and he was like, actually this looks blocked. And then the more investigating we did, the more we realized that the drain pipes were clogged so today is d-day dig day uh <laughs> it's excavation day we've had to wait a long time because there i live in a small community and so there aren't very many people who have this excavator uh profession and people that have this truck and know how to use this truck i guess so we have to wait for this truck and now the guy's here and he's dug a very beautiful channel um, for new piping to go in. And it's a disaster. It's gonna be so expensive. Um, the, the plumber said to me that on the high end, it would cost four grand, which that's awful. That's truly awful. It's cause when I think about what I could do with four grand, you know, I could buy the couch of my dreams. I could, um, you know, completely renovate all of the flooring in the downstairs. I could, there's a lot. There's a lot I could do. I could buy a dishwasher or a stove. Um, and now, and, and it just feels, you know, anticlimactic to spend $4,000 digging a hole and putting a pipe in it. <laughs> but I will say, let me get this mitten on. Uh, we did find, I say we, I didn't do any work. Um, they found a horseshoe, an old, old horseshoe deep in the dirt. Uh, so this would have been from when there was horses living on my property, which is so cool back before there were cars and um, So I love that and I showed it to my mom and my mom was on the phone with my aunt and they started screaming at me about how a horseshoe is great luck So maybe it's all gonna work out just fine actually and there's maybe there's nothing to worry about <laughs> I really like my plumber if there's one thing that is uh good it's like liking the people that you're hiring and I really like my plumber he's so friendly he's very funny and he explains everything to me which I really appreciate I never want to bother anyone and um you know I want to like lead them to their work but at the same time I really want to learn and he seems to <laughs> I haven't seemed to annoy him yet um but he seems to explain everything to me and yeah so I really appreciate that so I'll keep you updated on today's mission. Ahoy! <laughs> All right. Ta-da! Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> so, the 
situation. Ah, the situation, okay. <laughs> I'll do this properly. We replace the pipe from here all the way to the septic. And then we've got these two access points. Um, so it's just sort of funny because, you know, we spent the whole morning, I say we, I didn't do anything, but they spent the whole morning digging a hole, putting in a new pipe and then covering the hole. So that's our situation right now. So the fateful day came and he did it. With an excavator, they dug up my entire yard because they had to dig up the old pipe that led from the house to the septic. And what was really interesting for me was that when we dug it up and I asked the plumber, I was like, when was that pipe installed? He's like, oh, this is your original pipe. Like he pointed out originally, this house would have had an outhouse because it was from the 1850s. And then when they decided to put plumbing in the house, <laughs> what a beautiful concept. When they decided to upgrade and put in plumbing, uh, they put it in and I this house has had that same pipe the entire time. So of course I need to <laughs> replace it. That pipe has been there for like over a hundred years. It was time to replace it. The very good news is that A, the kitchen sink works, B, the upstairs bathroom fully works, and C, the worst case scenario price he gave me was $4,000. And it ended up being, drum roll, $1,300. Which is such a relief because it means I can take that money that I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to spend all of this money fixing this pipe and I can put it towards a bunch of other projects. Like $3,000 can go such a long way. Before we talk about my greatest thrift find of all time, <laughs> let's have a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Cerebral. Cerebral is a mental health membership that provides clients with ongoing comprehensive access to online care and medication management for anxiety, depression, and insomnia for a flat monthly rate of $45 a month, which is such an affordable option whether you have insurance or not, because therapy with Cerebral can cost three times less than traditional therapy services. You start off by doing a quiz, which is really easy and helps you figure out what areas you're most struggling with. Cerebral offers three plans therapy, medication and therapy, and medication and care counseling. You can do it from the safety of your home, which is so important right now when we should all be staying home as much as we can or we have to stay home because we're in lockdown. If you'd like to take the next step in working on your mental health, click the link in my description to start the questionnaire and get connected with a provider right away. Your first month with my link starts at $30. So click the link down in the description if this is an option you'd like to check out. Okay, my next update is possibly the most exciting thrift find of my entire life. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I look like I just woke up because I just woke up. Um, so last night I did my late night check of Facebook marketplace. I'm obviously trying to renovate this house on a massive budget. I am doing the best that I can to keep things cheap and keep things cheap. <laughs> And the best way to do that is to thrift and uh, find good deals on things. Last night I was looking, I was looking. I did my late night check and I'm so glad that I did. Cause you know, I don't do it every single night religiously. Sometimes I forget, um, but I checked and somebody is selling the, the exact sink that I want. <laughs> the exact sink that I want. Not one that's close to it. The exact one. I saw this sink on, actually, on a Christmas story. So that's funny because today is March 1st and obviously we watched that movie like during the week of Christmas. There is a company that makes replica sinks and they look like really high quality and I've read a bunch of blog bloggers reviewing them and they have great reviews, but they're selling for like a thousand dollars each. And I was like, okay, I'm not doing the kitchen renovation yet, so I can keep looking online. Maybe one day one will come up. Well, last night, someone posted. I can see that you can see my uh, bag of chips there. <laughs> Just laying, uh, in the on top of the garbage. Um, yes, I, I saw that a, a, a man 
a man posted the sink that I want and I literally freaked out because when I look I couldn't sleep last night I was up till 4 a.m yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter I freaked out because I messaged the guy at like midnight and I was like I can come pick this up tomorrow <laughs> I can send you a deposit right now. Just please sell me this sink. When I lived between two larger cities, things on Facebook Marketplace sold. Sold in a second. Like vultures. <laughs> Here, it seems to be a bit slower. He replied this morning. Oh, thank God. He replied this morning. <laughs> I literally, I woke up early just so that I could make sure make sure because i was like what if he replies and then i miss it and then he talks to someone else and they're oh, they're like uh someone who wakes up early and that isn't me so i'm i'm gonna wake up early woke up early he replied my dad has a, a bigger truck than i do because i just have my jeep so i was like it'll probably fit in my dad's truck so i texted my dad and i was like could we go and pick this up today and he said and he just comes into my room he's like it's it's the perfect day. I rented a trailer. <laughs> so what are the odds? It's all of the, the stars are becoming aligned. Um, so my dad has just gone to get this trailer that he was going to use to to do other things. And we're going to go and get the sink. I'm dying. I haven't said. It's $250. It's only $250. Oh. <laughs> I genuinely don't know if I will ever thrift something and be so excited about it again. Um, what a thrill. A lot of the time what people want on Facebook is just to get rid of the thing. And so they give it to or they sell it to the person who can pick it up the fastest. The other thing you can do is um, offer them more money than they posted it for. So that's actually how I got this chair here. I forget exactly how much the lady was asking for it, but it was something like $50 and it was the perfect chair and I would have been devastated if somebody else had purchased it. So I knew I would be happy to pay like $100, $150 for a chair like this. So I messaged her and I said, I would be so happy to pay $65 for that chair, which is just a little bit higher and more money for her. And she, like that I think helped me get this chair. So that's another top tip. <laughs> we went to this uh, guy's house and it was so cool because this guy's house looked exactly, exactly like my house, except for the, the front window bit was a bit different, but otherwise it looked exactly like my house and he is completely restoring that house. When we went inside, first of all, it was full of other stuff that he was selling. Um, stuff that he's salvaging from his house, but also like he obviously likes to find thrift stuff But he gave us a big tour because I, I was like, please give us a tour and he was happy to so he gave us a big tour of his house and all the plaster is ripped off and like it was <laughs> It was such a big project. I asked him. I was like, how long have you been working on this house? And he was like 10 years. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so we got the sink we brought it home. My dear friends, the furnace is so loud, but it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter because... <laughs> Woo! Little dance, little dance. <laughs> oh my God, I am so, so thrilled. Like, I named my, uh, my furnace Wilbur, because he's an old man and he's a, uh, He's, he sure is going, but my God, guys. Mm. It is in immaculate condition. It looks so good. So obviously the uh, this hardware, I'm gonna totally get rid of. It's, it's ugly, it's, it doesn't matter. It's probably not original, who cares? Um, this is the original soap stand, which I will clean up and probably keep. Like it looks so freaking cute. Um, and it looks gross right now, but it's not damage. It's not damage. It's just dirt. Uh, if I do that a little bit of that, you can see it cleans up real nice. So the only little bit of damage it has is this on the edges, but this is just caulking. So I can totally peel it off. I'll just have to screw, I'll spend some time fixing that up, but I am so happy. It is cast iron. <laughs> it weighs like 300 pounds. It's so unbelievably heavy. But guys, I've, I don't know. 
I'm just so happy. I'm so thrilled with it. And now it's just sitting in my back room, which is kind of anticlimactic. I wish I could be like, it's installed, the, the kitchen, it has a beautiful sink now, but that's what I mean by these clips don't really have a home yet. Um, it's gonna be a long time until I renovate the kitchen. And so that, that sink is just gonna sit there for a while, but I knew exactly what I wanted. That was the sink I wanted. And it didn't matter to me if I bought it now or if I bought it in the year, that's the sink I wanted. And so checking every day for it, like helped me find the best deal. I am ecstatic, $250. It's in perfect condition. It's in per... Okay, the next one is also a purchase. <laughs> so I was at um, an antique store in my town and I saw this hutch and I freaked out. And there's a time and a place for bargain hunting. And I will always haggle as I did with this hutch. The reason I wanna talk about this item though, apart from its beauty, is the price. Because ah, it's just an interesting, I think I've been learning a lot about thrifting and about hunting and about the value of an object. Um, there's two things, right? There's the value of the object on the market and then there's the value of the object to you. So for example, this pink chair to the lady selling it was only worth $50 and maybe that's what people like were willing to pay for this chair. But for me, this chair is worth like $100 because I absolutely love this chair. <laughs> and so in that same vein, I was in this antique store, I saw this hutch and I thought, I'm obsessed with that. I am utterly obsessed with that. But it was posted at $750. And I was like, that is way too much money. Um, I didn't come in here thinking I was going to buy a big piece of furniture. And even though actually, I will caveat that by saying, I have been looking online, like with the sink, I have been looking for a hutch for my kitchen uh, for like two months. So every day I go on, when I go on and do my hunts, I'm looking for a coffee table. I'm looking for a hutch. I've been looking for a vintage sink. I've been looking for va a vase. <laughs> um, and a few other things. So it is one of the things I've been looking for, but I didn't think that day I was going to go and buy one. But I had not seen one this beautiful. I, I was just completely as astounded by it. I thought it was so perfect for the vibe of my house and the vibe of what I want my kitchen to be. I said to the lady, I was like, that's too much. I was like, I, I wouldn't pay 750 for it. And she's like, I would lower that to 600. And I was like, I could probably haggle it even lower, but this thing is worth $600 to me. I want that. I want it. And I've never seen anything like it. And it's going to be like an anchor piece in my kitchen. Um, and actually, I bought it like a couple days after getting the sink. And so in my head, I was like, I just got the sink for so cheap. The money that I kind of saved from that purchase, I can put towards this purchase. So I bought it. And now I have this gorgeous, gorgeous hutch that I am so obsessed with. I've made it my tea station. I don't know if that's going to be permanent, but it might be. <laughs> Um, I know a lot of comments are going to say, careful when you use the kettle, that the steam doesn't ruin the wood. Don't worry. I always angle the spout and the little steam holes so that they're not going into the hutch. They're going outside of it. Um, but I'm obsessed with this piece and I think that it's a very different story than the vintage sink. Like I'm so happy with, with the steel. I can't believe it. But I would have paid more for that sink. Do you know what I mean? This hutch, it came at a different price. You're not gonna get every single thing for like a mad steal. So those were my updates. I really appreciate you spending this time with me. I've been so excited, so excited by the enthusiasm that my community has been sharing with me about my house. This is like such a big deal in my life. I bought a house. I'm like decorating it and making it beautiful and getting to share that process with you has been incredible. There's so many new people. <laughs> Over the last like six months, this channel has grown so much and I am so grateful to you for hitting that subscribe button and for hanging out with me and so for a lot of you for joining my Patreon, which has been so special. I'm really excited to keep making stuff both about the house and about other things. I have plans, I have schemes and um, 
I want to make this channel, I mean it already is this, but I want to continue to foster this channel being a really positive, happy community where we have some fun and we learn some stuff and we talk about the things we love. So thank you so much for being here and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.